What college major do you think gets made fun of the most? Why? We had one friend in college who was a humanities major. We all figured she'd either become a college professor or work at McDonald's. My roommate, her future husband, got his MBA. Now, they both work for Wells Fargo and she's way higher up on the managerial scale than he is. Music production. I know I didn't need to go to school for it like many will say. However, the training you receive for your ear is invaluable. Communication major. Was always telling that people were taking an easy major and didn't know what they wanted to do. I always see fine arts majors getting roasted. Fine arts is a very difficult field to actually get into. The job market is always insanely saturated. That or they want to be a freelance artist and think their kooky take on modern art is worth millions. Edit. Not sure why people are commenting as if I'm the one doing the roasting. I'm just answering the question. I don't care what your major is. As a political science major, I'm surprised I don't see this on the thread open mouth smile. Criminal justice. Everyone who takes it thinks that is the way into the CIA, FBI, etc. But those organizations hire out of STEM. They should rename it prison guarding. Face with open eyes and hand over mouth. I mean, correctional officer, lol. Because that's where they all end up. Every single year, the United States graduates a thousand-year supply of psychology majors. Depends on what you mean. What degree gets made fun of by the media and politicians and your drunk uncle at Thanksgiving? Art history, or gender studies, or philosophy, or European studies. But not many people actually get these degrees, so it is usually made fun of in a theoretical, boogeyman type of way. The problem with kids these days is that they all get gender studies degrees and then complain they can't get jobs. What degree gets made fun of on a college campus? Experience coming from a large, fairly well-ranked public school, with friends attending similar schools and having same experience. Communications. But the thing with communications is that it is made fun of more because it is considered an easy, yet employable major. The fact that lots of athletes were pushed towards the major further enhances this. And at my school, communications was its own college, and many people wanted to go into business, because despite what the media has you believe, most college students know the employability of different degrees and aren't rushing to get a medieval history degree without a solid game plan, but couldn't pass accounting or calculus with a high enough grade to get into the business school, so went into communications. So it's made fun of in the way that it's basic. A lot of people are saying philosophy or communication. I work in a college of arts and humanities, and some of our most successful alums come out of these two programs. Many philosophy majors are pre-law and go on to law school. I've talked to several communication majors who are CEOs or high-ranking executives in a company. Philosophy and communication are also popular degrees for politicians. English gets a lot of disdain. See, I know that word because of my major, and in truth, it shouldn't. The curriculum teaches students about classic literature, which is both a historical lesson as well as a cultural lesson. This is only one example, but an important one. Communications. Which is funny considering it seems many people fail at effective communication. They all bash on the major but can't communicate effectively. Gender studies is the answer. A lot of people make fun of sociology, but gender studies became a new discipline precisely because sociology departments thought it lacked academic rigor. Theater um I plead the fifth. Gender studies, because it's gender studies. 
Art history. Even President Obama made fun of art history in a speech he gave. I mean it used to be communications. To all the people who say, arts. I used to think this too. Until I started doing the payroll for an art museum. At my college it was, PR&T. Parks. Recreation. And tourism. It was a degree field for wannabe travel agents. Park rangers. And city playground planners. It was the only school that didn't have a minimum GPA requirement to get in. So it was the, fallback degree, for a lot of people that failed out of engineering. People in engineering seem to make fun of business majors a lot. My school used to have a BA degree in leisure time activities. I always wondered what they did with that. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.